Here comes a cracking boat. She's called Petrock. Funnily enough, she's a, Petrock was a Cornish saint. So two, two of the last boats we've listed have both been named after Cornish saints. Anyway, she's lovely. She's 57 and a half feet long, semi-traditional stern, built by Jonathan Wilson and fitted out by the highly regarded Darren Aldridge. She was built in 2007. Boat safety until February 2027. So that's just been done. The pram hood at the back there was brand new in 2022. Solar watts on the panel on the, on the roof there, 645 watts. Keeps all the batteries topped up. Paintwork's in very nice condition. The glazed side hatch there. Some sliding windows in the saloon. Really well presented this boat actually. The pram hood you can see, uh, the cratch cover rather, was new in 2021. That's still in good condition. It's got blackout roll downs for the sides and there's actually a blackout uh, blind for the front of that, that cratch board. Bench seats either side with storage. She does have a bow thrust and there's a table there. It's a good size the welder actually, four feet nine. Lovely stable doors, glazed. The water tank is um, integral, 680 litres. That's a decent size. The water, the water the gauge isn't working, actually. In the boat we go into the saloon, 12 feet 2 inches long. There's an L-shaped couch there. That's quite interesting. I'll show you in a minute. Lots of shelves there under the gunnels. The solid fuel stove is an arrow acorn. Drawer underneath. Storage in the steps. And on the right, there's a stereo there. That's a Sony Bluetooth CD radio. And the television is a 32-inch Toshiba. There's a Humax Freesat box, a JVC soundbar, and there's also a Huawei Wi-Fi router on board, whatever that is. Really lovely room, this. So this couch, it changes shape, the storage underneath. So it can either be fashioned into a really decent-sized, super lounging la um, sofa, or I suppose a small double or a co or a decent single or a full size king size bed. Not seen a dinette that converts into a full width double. It's enormous. Probably get a rugby team in bed there. So lovely shape to it with the curved backs. Head height on the boat is six foot six. All the lights are LED. Here's the side hatch we saw from the outside. Quite nice crosses etched on the windows. This uh, comes up to increase your workspace in the galley. There's a wine rack there, shelves next to it. The work tops are wood effect laminate. They match the flooring. Stainless steel sink. Lots of storage in the kitchen, actually. It's a microwave oven there. Hinari, little cupboard underneath. And there's a 12 volt shoreline fridge with a with an ice box. That was brand new in 2022. And the bins, quite clever, are underneath. I guess one's for non-recycle and one's for recycle and food. Pull out a cupboardy thing there under the sink. And there's the cooker. It's a stove's DIT 500 four burner gas hob oven and grill. Here's the carousel cupboards. Now the owners are sort of gently heading their way back to Australia, so. There are bits and pieces left on board that they couldn't fit in the car, but she'd been left really tidy, really clean. They took what they could. See the fin rads on the floor there? Really useful pantry cupboard here. Central heating's a, a hurricane diesel boiler. There's the washing machine, it's a candy aquamatic. And it's a walkthrough bathroom. Decent size. 8 feet 10 inches long, mirror on the wall, linen cupboards in between the back of the shower there and the cabin side, ceramic sink, cupboard underneath. The loo you see on the right is an emergency porta potty and the loo there is a vacuum flush cassette. There are three cassettes on board. Airing cupboard in here, so much storage on this boat. The water tank's underneath that. Hot water's heated by the hurricane, the engine, or there is an immersion heater on board as well. Saw the heated towel rail there in the bathroom, and here's the shower. Bifold doors, there's a light in it, tiled surround. <clears throat> there's the towel rail. And here's the bedroom. Bedroom is 10 feet 7 inches long, it's a cross bed. 
cross bed measure six foot one by five feet wide little shelf there for a cup of tea that does hinge up against the wall all the lighting's LED and they were all replaced this year 2024 cupboard there and a wardrobe here. You might have seen at the top there the inverter control. That's disconnected. You do the inverter manually now. Really good size wardrobe in here. Drawers here. Well, there's a little pull out shelf here actually. Drawers underneath it. Storage under the stuff. <laughs> storage everywhere. I don't know how many times I've said storage on this video. A little cubby hole in there. out up the steps the electrics are in here the, the inverters are victron phoenix multi plus three kilowatt inverter charger uh, the fuse isolation bits that's the solar controller and out onto the semi trad deck which measures four feet one inch long seats either side with storage underneath and there's the view from the hell in the center panel on that uh, windscreen does roll up and the engine's in here it's a beta 43 with a hospital silencer the engine bay was repainted this year in 2024 so it's nice and clean and tidy the batteries are in there three 220 amp hour victron gel domestics one starter and one bow thruster the bow thruster it's a vetus was reconditioned in 2022 we'll go back through the boat again Hot water's heated by the hurricane at the engine or the immersion heater. I'm not sure if I said that or not, but I'll say it again. There's a four-stage Sterling battery charger to the bow thruster battery. Landline hookup, 230 volt sockets throughout. I didn't mention the uh, gas, 213 kilo bottles in the bow locker with a changeover valve. The engine was last serviced in February this year. It's been serviced regularly by the owner. And she was last blacked in October 22. Four new anodes were put on her at the time, so she's currently got eight. She's got all the necessary naviga navigation equipment to just turn the key and go, including two anchors, by the way. So there we go, lovely boat. For further photographs, fully count, downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website, www.rugbyboats.co.uk.